How we doing? Oh, been very busy week here. <laughs> lots yeah. of snow and lots of other stuff going on, but good to yeah, see no you. Kidding. You look refreshed. Ali. Yeah, I recommend it to everyone. <laughs> well, sign me up. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm just, I really am fortunate because Amy, my sister, has this place. She lives here. She's an entomologist at the university. Oh, wow. Yeah. How interesting. Yeah, works with all the farmers. And yeah, it's really great. Great experience for Charlie. And we've had a lot of ocean time. It's wonderful. What kind of crops do they grow there? Sugar uh, cane? They, what's that? Sugar cane or what? Yeah, there's some of that. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a good, I, I think agave, mm. agave is a big one, um, mangoes, oh, yeah, bananas, they're plantains. Yeah, it's, it's very dry. It's very, very dry right huh. now. Mm-hmm. But we've had some nice rainstorms. So, but enough of that. Um, looks like lots of action happened on the Parks and Open Space page. I went in this morning and put some comments in. Um, Karen, are you there? Can't I'm hear here. Karen. Everyone. Did you okay, mean? So okay, I'm going to, I'm going to. You met Karen Blake Blakemore, right? I did. So everybody's okay. um everybody's on. So I will I'm gonna try to share my screen and we can just take a look. I guess we're completing our goals and objectives. I saw a lot of action on there today or this week. Um Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. So, do we want to just um, review some of the comments, or what do, you, what do you think, Karen? I think there's been a lot of um, back and forth. I read through it all this morning. Put some comments in there. But uh, yeah. yeah, I think going through the comments from uh, top to bottom. Yeah, and, that sounds good. Yeah, making so our community and its visitors enjoy ecologically sound. Are we keeping sound or? Oh, so I, I put a comment in there. Um, about that, I'm wondering if you can click on that. Um, where it's highlighted sound. Yep, there we sound. go. Okay. All right, there we go. Um, so we do want to keep that. I agree. Okay, so you can just then check off my comment and yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> All right, our overall goal. Um, I thought your answer was appropriate. I don't, I don't think it needs what she is saying. I think that it's clear. You? It's well planned right. for the future. It's not just what already exists. Right, and the parks. Um, and parks, recreation, open space, and trails, there's planning that we need to do there. Um, so, yeah, agreed. Okay. And it is PROST, not PROSAP, correct? That's what I would say, um, because okay. this is like <laughs> the responsibility wouldn't fall entirely on PROSAP. Yeah, and, and never does it ever indicate that. So I'm not sure why that keeps coming up, but anyway. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm not sure why she keeps talking about ProSAB and SAB and everything. I mean, that these are objectives, so we're not calling out any methods of, right? Yeah, I think she's concerned with, well, with uh, ProSAB having um, too much to do and, you know, I. I think all the so, we're, we're a small place <laughs> and we don't all have right how about could it could there be an action plan funding what about and, an but we understand that 
Yeah. So I mean, it could be an action to evaluate the resources to support these objectives <clears throat> and other. So where are know. we? Oh. I, uh, 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 I just said, I okay, was just noticing how is, she keeps bringing up. If you click on the light colored um, mm -hmm. sentences. Yeah. Okay, so that's for May's suggestion. <clears throat> okay, did you, did you hear what I said? It's, uh, you know, I think if there is a concern, you know, there could be an action that just says, you know, to evaluate. I can't hear you, Jill. Oh, oh you wait can't? A Let me turn on my volume. Can you hear me? Okay, I can now. Can I had my speaker turned off. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um, I wondered if, uh, since it is brought up and I, you know, I, I, I think it's worthy of, of thought, you know, is do we want to put an action item at all to say to evaluate the current structure to address these objectives? There, there is. Oh, okay. Okay. So we we just don't need any of this. Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah, I think it's a good objective, and yeah, it I, is. It, okay. Good. I'm glad. No, we're no. But uh, Atashna keeps bringing up um, ProSab being overloaded and ProSabs in every single objective. So I just wondered if that's a something. But it sounds like Karen said that's already addressed in an action that we should evaluate and address the resources to be able to achieve these objectives. That it's not all pointed at ProSab, right? Yeah, exactly. that's my understanding. Right. Okay. So seek to make facilities ADA climb compliant to increase accessibility of public facilities. Um, uh, I agree, Karen, we're getting rid of that. Um, this one, Chris, this is a goal of the town staff and should be incorporated in all plans for the facility upgrades. Okay, so we incorporated it. Mm -hmm. Ensure that all Netherland Prost ProSab. Do you want to add pro? I think we just take, oh, <clears throat> I put just a general comment or earlier saying that um, we do want um, Prost and not ProSab because <clears throat> this is an all for ProSab to do. So we're leaving out um, ProSab on this? Yeah. Recognize the vulnerability of the Netherland area and its pros pros have assets. Okay. Yeah. To wildfire and proactively plan to reduce risks through best practices in ecological health and wildfire mitigation. You. See, so what do you, what do you. I would just leave it as. Need? Oh. She just added this stuff, right? We're taking it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She she wants to change um, PROST to ProSab. Um, so I gotcha. I just say take it out. Yeah. I got it. No, I just wanted to be on the same page. Sure, sure. So, um, it's hard to tell who did what here because she. Okay, so we're taking this out. It's just yep. ProSab. Consider parking, bicycle, and pedestrian needs for Prost assets and encourage sustainable transportation at all Prost facilities. <clears throat> okay, so, some, so how are yeah? Some we're of good the on how, oh, go ahead. Sorry. Some of the objectives are already started or ongoing. Um, some of them are um, future things, but that's okay because I we agree. want to list everything, all of the. Um, goals and objectives for park recreation and open space. Mm hmm. I mean, you could put consider to, or continue to consider. Uh, I, uh, continue I to consider parking, huh? 
I think it's okay. I, I agree. Yeah, okay, the way it is. So uh, in terms of overall objectives, are we missing anything? We're complete, we're good? Looks good to me. Up uh, too. I think they look great. Me too. Okay, parks goal. Parks are maintained and planned as spaces. We did that, that looks good. Um, this was Chris. So, I thought your answer was great. It's already included down below as an action, huh? And I added that specifically for Chris. I mean, not that I don't think that it's something that we should have in there. I think it's a really good idea, but Thanks. it was added to address his um, his comments. All right. Objective two. We we'll continue to create and implement management plans for all town parks to enhance sustainability operations. Uh, Sustainable operations. Word. Oh, did I say it wrong? Sorry. Um, <laughs> I don't know why she's okay. We're taking that off. Well, yeah, she's looking at it as an action plan for press. I know. And, um. I hope that my comments, she, she should have received the comments and she didn't reply back. And so, um, I assumed that, you know, she, she understands what our, um, position is and why we. Yeah, and we can explain it in the all group thing, but. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Okay. So she keeps doing this here. Okay. Take that off. Uh, use best practices for environmental sustainability when designing and creating park. Parks, native planting, low water use. So, is there mm -hmm. anything else we want to add in a bullet there that we cover that? You know, um, I wonder about wildlife. My neighbors mm -hmm. and I have been noticing here behind the fire station that with reduced traffic here, no dead guy days and stuff, that we're just having a ton of wildlife coming through. And, um, the moose travel this neighborhood going over to the creek and so i think we should put that in for yeah. example, when we're planning the park over there by the creek that this is a water hole and feeding grounds right now for the moose i'm good with that do we want to include anything on education uh i we have an education objective in the overall objectives. Oh, that's right. Okay. So do you think wildlife needs is a good one to use best practices. Um I think just uh for just wildlife needs? I think so, just to be consistent with the other two bullets. Wildlife needs. Or habitat. Oh, but I think good. it's okay. It gives the idea. I think idea. it's more than habitat, but. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Netherland area. Anything else though on that one? Did we get them all best? I mean, you know, just to. Well, I. Native plants. I think it's water. okay not. Not to be. Um, yeah. Not to include everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, but if you're going to include something, then it seems like that's no. all, you know? Okay. Let's so see. if we're not going to include, huh? Well, excuse me. Uh, environmental sustainability, water, we've got plants, wildlife. I mean, is appropriate trash and recycling receptacles or belong in that? Uh, I, we might have it up a little bit. We have trash, ma trash management in 2.2. Yeah, this yeah. is for designing. Okay. All right, recreation goal.
All right, evaluate the community center, its current uses, funding, and how it can accommodate more of the community's recreation goals. Optimize use of community center space. Is that the same as 3.1? Um, it, I, let's go down to the projects and initiatives. I think there's 1 that addresses 3.2. Um. Okay, if it's the renovation for... projects. Yeah, so I just wondered if you want to just, include, you know, just combine those 2, they seem as. See, oh, sorry, you guys, <laughs> where am I? Here we go. Just, and, and we could just put it here and optimize. Use of community center space and how well you want to call it out separate. Maybe, well, there's the evaluation stage and then, and then the implementation and optimization is part of implementation. So I guess I would, I would want to reword um, 3.1, something like evaluate and optimize the yeah. use of some. So I think that's good. Okay, if we can word it to where that it includes both the planning and implementation. Um, see, I liked what you said. Okay, now we have to work on that lap second part funding and how it can accommodate. It doesn't really fit in. Maybe with adequate. To accommodate. To accommodate more of the community. And I think we want a verb before funding, like in place or mm -hmm. secure. Securing, securing, or yeah, evaluate not because use the community center and secure. Securing funding to accommodate or to secure funding. I think it needs a verb somehow. Okay. Evaluate and optimize the use of the community center. Comma secure funding um, or maintain and um, address funding or. How about um, securing adequate funding? Secure <laughs> adequate funding, yeah. Because the. Adequate and ongoing, uh, how about? I just got a card from the Gilpin Recreation Center about their new hours, and I noticed that they had a section on their card, you know, our bond issue is going to renew such and such a time. And I thought, what a great way to get people thinking about that, because we have the same situation here where we're going to have a renewal of the bond, hopefully, um, securing ongoing and adequate funding to accommodate more of the community's recreation goals. Mm -hmm. So, Jill, I can evaluate and optimize the use of the community centers, and adequate funding to accommodate more of the community's recreation goals. That sounds good to me. Evaluate requests for new recreational programs and facilities. Is that enough? Uh, <clears throat> yes. 
Well, I, I don't know. I think it is. I don't know how involved our public engagement process is going to turn out to be, but in the housing one, we're trying to write in that we're going to be following the engagement processes. We're trying to flesh it out under public engagement for the Envision 2030. So I we guess have that a decision. Would... We have a decision making action. I think right, and and um, that kind of bypasses whatever the 2030, it, it says create a tool, create or adopt a tool, I guess. I think they have that, have that in the overall goals. I believe, okay. we might, can we look at those and make sure that it's in there? I remember May bringing that up at the last meeting. Um, it would, It would probably be the last goal objective. It's not there. Oh, right there here? we go. Uh, 1.8. Oh, there it is. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Okay. I remember talking about that. Um, so, so I will fix all the objective numbers in the um, projects and initiatives after the meeting. We don't have to work on that now because we changed okay. some of the numbering. Oh, right. Good point. Okay, approach Boulder Valley School District about creating a mutual use agreement for outdoor recreation. Isn't that more of an action? I feel like well, maybe more of an objective is to um to determine um potential partnerships to maximize and leverage public resources and then maybe that's one action okay that sounds good um can it seems like we might have that objective already um can we look at the overall objectives I wonder if we could specify the school here, explore new partnerships with the school district for recreational op opportunities or something like that. Mm -hmm. If we want to kind of, you know, even just say schools, and that would open it up to partnerships with Wild Bear as well. Um, well, so, we're not a school, but. Oh, nature. Okay. So, but, you know, I mean, that's why I thought maybe you wanted to open it up to more broad terminology and an objective as opposed to calling out a specific action. Yeah, I think. I think that's, I don't see it in the overall. I think we, we did have that at 1 point. Um, huh. And then uh, I think that came out of. Um, but, but yeah, let's do that. Um. Oops. Make that more general and then the specific. We could even say explore the partnership with the school for recreation and transportation issues. We we touch on that at another bullet point. Um, but that school partnership, I think, is really important. Yeah, I think we should put it in an object in an action. Okay. So. Um, Wait a minute. I can, oh, I, I like it that way. Explore partnerships the way you had it. Well, uh, with the schools. Explore partnerships and maintaining maximum. That's good. Is that good? Yeah, I'd like that. Okay. And I'm just going to put this down here, Karen. I'm just going to paste it in here so we can remember to do something with okay. this. How's that? Yep. Okay. That sounds good. I will. About creating. Okay. Well, we could say public and nonprofit or public and private partnerships. Or do you want to just leave it partnerships? I'm okay with either either way. Like public and private. 
So like private nonprofits or government. That's always That's good. Always okay. Support a mix of the recreational and cultural activities and programs responsive to the interests and needs of Netherland area residents. Um, she's saying here. Yeah, I just made a comment on that, but okay. We're getting rid of that. Yeah. Well, yes. Me. Okay. Improve and build upon relationships with nonprofit organizations that provide recreational services to the greater. Oh, Northern there it was. Uh, yeah. That so was do you want to just take that no. out? Okay. Uh, because I feel like with public and private. It's better. To maximize do you want to call this out at all or this nonprofit thing or. Do you feel like it's covered in this explore public and private partnerships? That is yes, I think that's it. And that's um, came out of the meeting with ProSAP when we went over the um, strategic plan from 2013. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. But I wonder if it's repetitive to what 3.3 is now. Uh, okay, so I would. That could be another action. I would. Well, explore public and private partnerships. Uh, I think it's it, it's three three and three five are equivalent, just a different wording. And okay. um, I'm personally okay with either wording. All I would say is that three point five came out of that meeting with ProSAP. So you know the. Well, I wording. think that because we have a specific one to Boulder Valley School District, I think it's mm -hmm. a great action to also have this as an action. That we want to improve and build upon our relationships. Uh, is that not you, an action? It's not specific enough, maybe. Well, I. Okay, so you think it's that, just a suggestion. I did. I, okay, so the partner explore public and private partnerships. And. And that, yeah, okay, that's an action. I agree. Do you? Three five sure because that can be part of building this, um, exactly and it's more specific. Okay. Okay. Open space. Sorry. I like our goal. So these, you know, these projects and initiatives, um, they, um, they're not necessary. They're like, um, you know, if you're putting together like a program or project or some um, initiative, so they're not necessarily more um, specific, just more concrete. Um, so just to put that out there, you know, they may, we may decide to do something like a project to um, uh, work on uh, partnerships, something like that. Uh, yeah, and then, yeah, good point. Yeah. Okay, so we're on open space. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm looking at 4.1 with the same eyes there. Seems very specific. And I, I just wonder if we want more of a big picture thing about identifying, you know, documenting, plan, you know, uh, action planning, to acquire desirable open space property. And then this documentation, I don't know. I don't know um, this particular objective. I, I don't <laughs> understand the town documentation part of it. Right. Um, I can see the 
acquiring um, open space, maybe Karen Garrity knows what the town documentation you could is say, about. I, I'm just going to write down my thoughts because I'm going to forget. I'm I'm just thinking they must be re referring to like the master plans, you know, the Netherland Trail master plan and that sort of thing. I mean, I, I don't know for sure. Who was the one who came up with that? Maybe they could. Uh, that that's oh, in the 20, 2013 um, parks, recreation, open space, trails, master plan. That's what um, part of the action plan. So they're probably just referring to the other master plans because, you know, they're all connected. That's my thought. Mm -hmm. Just through the thoughts down there, I mean, do you want a bigger picture comment on that? Like the, you know, just to kind of get an overarching identifying, documenting, creating action plans to acquire desirable open space property in order to pursue land preservation opportunities. Um, I, I don't know what the process is for um, acquiring open space. Um, is there a process, Karen? Are you talking about more open space if we wanted to require acquire more open space? Yeah, that's what this is, acquiring desirable open space property. So that's really, I mean, we're surrounded by Boulder County open space and uh, the forest and, and whatnot. In town, <clears throat> our property, the town owned properties su such as uh, Garcia Field and, um, you know, some of the uh, Chapita Park, those, you know, are basically, I, I don't know if we actually have any space in town that is specifically called out as open space as opposed to trail. I know, good I, I'm sorry, as opposed to parks. Okay, so hypothetically, <laughs> let's just say that the car line land next to the <laughs> post office wants to be donated to the town. What would that be called, a park? Not open well, space. Well, that would be up to the donor. So, um, because open space is very different than a park. Most yeah. open spaces are not developed at all. So you wouldn't have playgrounds. You wouldn't have like the fishing pond with the, uh, you know, the deck for kids to go up and fish on. And you wouldn't even, even some communities don't allow anything like public art, you know. Wait, um, before you yeah. take that out, Jill. I'm going to just. Don't. I think we should put um, <laughs> the recommendations perhaps to Boulder County. Um, and maybe we should expand it a little bit to where we might, for example, if we were thinking about trying to purchase some kind of forest service strip that well, may or may not remain as open space. I, well, I, I, didn't, just, I didn't get to finish because we have the, win, the Wingate property that we mm -hmm. were actually doing a lease to own, although the owner passed away last summer. And so mm -hmm. we are no longer obligated to make those payments, but it's a conservation easement. And that will, as far as I understand, I got to go back and look at the document, but the donor actually called out how they wanted that space, which they were donating to us to be used. So that would be the way to achieve what you're talking about, Jill. Just wanted to give an example of you know, someone who did yeah, exactly. donate land to us with the intention of having it be uh, open space. Yeah. So I, I just I think that the open space this the objective is we're just calling out you know having some kind of process to acquiring desirable open space property. Um, is there one already? Oh, so I'm looking at the 2013 strategic action oh. plan, and I'm looking at the actions for. Um, the objective of establishing town documentation for acquiring desirable open space properties in order to pursue land preservation opportunities. There's two, two um, actions here. So two projects slash initiatives. Um, one is to compile a list of potential open space acquisitions that score highly when evaluated according to the evaluation criteria in Appendix H. So that would be evaluating um, potential properties. Um, and 
The second action is maintain a list of potential funding partners for open space acquisitions. So the documentation is um, the evaluation and um, funding partners. So maybe we could make this kind of uh, um, we could have it something like establish a process for acquiring open space properties. And then at another time, we could come up with um, specific projects for that or, or actions. So establish a process or just establish a process, take this out. Identifying, document, evaluating, creating action. Yeah, I think just establish a process to acquire open space property. Sorry, it's raining. I can't hear you. <laughs> uh, yes, I think I would go with that, making it you know, just more general. Okay. Um, I, I, I identify, document, evaluate, and create. I, I'm fine with this. The identify, document, evaluate, and create action plans. Um, that's that's the same as establishing a process. But here you're saying a little bit about how what the different parts of that process would be. So, um, you want me to change it to establish process? Yeah, that's what I would. Would prefer. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, the documentation was really awkward there. Yeah, um, that was weird. Yeah. Okay. Develop sustainable sustainability analysis and management plans. Is there a reason these are capitalized? For current no. town owned, huh? No. Sustainability analysis and management plans for current town owned. I think that's lowercase, right? Town yeah. owned open space property that emphasizes that emphasize best practices. For ecosystem functionality, wildlife habitat, storm. And, sorry, by use of nat natural pass systems, water, natural resources. Was this from the old plan or? Yes, or that was. Or soil um, health, wildfire, wildfire mitigation and site appropriate public access. Okay. That was yep. combining two objectives. The uh, PROSAP wanted to combine those two. Oh, right. Okay. There was a management plan was separate from the sustainability analysis. So. I think it sounds fine. Yeah. The Netherland area trail system provides safe, accessible and well maintained pathways, which are. All right. Um, I think this is fine. You. Well, wait. We we, we talked about this. That yeah, we not, did. not all trails are going to be ADA compliant. That we will right. have parts of them that are. Okay. So Some, we're. In agreement. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then Chris said, yeah, you're looking at that. Good. Yeah, so I like that you added a project for that. Um, okay. Good. Identify resources. Goodness. 
sensitivity while minimizing erosion and avoiding critical habitat and sensitive wildlife corridors. Create and implement an information campaign to educate users to respect neighborhoods, habitat, wildlife. Improve trail safety to promote community walkability, health, and alternative transportation. Continue working with surrounding public and private land owner, owners or holders, land holders, for increased linkages to area trails and attractions, area trails and attractions to increase trail connectivity and usage. You're okay with that one? <laughs> yeah. Trail along the western shoreline of Barker Reservoir with sensitivity towards both public needs for water access. And so we, we oh, develop the trail, sorry. Develop trail. Along the western shoreline of Barker Reservoir with sensitivity towards both public needs for water access and preservation of riparian habitat in order to promote healthy lifestyles and environmental awareness and stewardship. Where do we have the thing about <clears throat> uh, I think it must be over in the overall goal. So fishing waste, the hooks, the lines, the junk down there. We have that. Is it up here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so important. Fishing lines. Oh, yes. Objective 2.2. 2.2. Oh. Yeah, perfect. I think it's great. I know. I think so Me too. Good Me too. Teamwork. Huh? <laughs> what? Good teamwork. I like it. All right, I think we're ready for our presentation. Oh, what's going on down here? Okay. So you're just going to go in and fix those. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for all of your great work on all this stuff. Aaron, whoa, whoa. Oh, what? Oh. We're not going to do all solid surface pathways, I hope. No, um, no. this is that are ADA accessible. This was was from Chris Pelletier. Um, so this was up in the discussion about leaf trails in as yeah, much no, as I, possible. I, I understand what May's saying, though. Do we want to say for those trails that are ADA accessible? Yeah. Well, he okay. called, yeah, and he called out specifically solid surface surface pathways. So basically what I think the intention is, is that, you know, the gravel trails and the smaller trails are not going to be ADA accessible. But any that are solid surfaces should be. I think that's what the whole intention of that statement is. If there's, if there's a solid surface path, it should be ADA accessible. Right. So adopt standards for uh, those trails that are solid surface. Something like that. I've uh, adopt standards for what was the original wording? Can we like back up, click that background arrow in the left upper left corner? Of the page. Adopt standards for. Is that what it was originally? Yeah. Okay. So for some. That are ADA accessible. Let's see. Back one. Um. So. I just um. I'm gonna go look at what he wrote in. How about adopt standards for solid surface pathways that are ADA accessible? Yeah. Mm 
That's all? Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Finito? Yeah, yeah. What do you think, Karen and Miranda? I think you guys have rocked it. You did a great <laughs> job. It's very comprehensive. Well done. Agreed. Okay, good. Anything else? When's our meeting? I have to make sure I have it on my thing. It's six o'clock tomorrow. Okay, I can't make it. Let's see. I have a board meeting till nine till till seven. Do you want to? So, if you wanted to, I don't know if you want to, but if you wanted to jump on when you were done, at the end of the okay. meeting is when we're going over the public outreach plan. Okay. Um, so it'd be nice to get your feedback on that if you wanted to jump on. Okay, I'll do that. Cool. And then, uh, Miranda, does, does, that, does that mean that Karen or May should actually present this then to the board? Yes. Yep. Yeah, Karen, if you can do that, I think that'd be awesome. Oh, sure, I'd be happy to. Great. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, everybody. I'll show oh, up thanks. at seven. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Thank thanks. you so much. Bye. Thank you for your service, yep. everyone. Yep. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Hey, Bye. Karen Garrity and Miranda, could you stay on for a second? Sure.